Okay, finally we get to Rio virus, the virus that just has to be a little different. It's RNA, but double-stranded. I guess it couldn't make up its mind if it wanted to be RNA or DNA. It chose RNA, but didn't want to fully commit. Anyway, Rio virus will take place at the Rio Grand Prix in beautiful Colorado. As we set the scene of the Rio Grand Prix, You'll notice we're using some beautiful oranges and other warm colors to remind you that it's an RNA virus. As I said, what makes it unique is that it's a double-stranded RNA virus. So the whole positive versus negative sense aspect of classification doesn't really apply here. Thus, there's no sun or moon in the sky. It's kind of right in between, sunset time. And as an RNA virus, it replicates in the cytoplasm. None of this replicating in the nucleus business like orthomyxovirus. So Rheovirus is non-enveloped or naked, so let's bring in our buddy David onto the scene here in the back. Or perhaps a rock formation that looks suspiciously like David. So to round out the general characteristics, Rheovirus is segmented and is the last virus in the Bohr mnemonic. Do you remember the others? Try thinking back to the other pictures. We have Bunyavirus and Paul Bunyan's three chopped down trees. We have Orthomyxovirus and the eight segments represented by the eight-legged octopus. And then we have Arenavirus and the two circles for our gladiators. And finally, we have Rheovirus, which has a total of 11 segments on average, the most out of all the segmented viruses. And some have more, some have less. Just know that it's between 9 and 12 segments. So to illustrate that it's a segmented virus and there are 11 segments, we have this Rio Grande River, which is a pretty big river. So we'll add 11 boats on the river, one for each segment. Also, since it's a race, we need lanes. So we'll add this flotation rope separating the two lanes. And notice it's a double helix. Well, this is to remind you that Rio virus is double-stranded.